bread pudding. Hey guys, it's time for Sweet Treat Friday. And you know if it ain't sweet, then it ain't a treat. I have a treat for us today. Right now, I just want to show you what we're going to do. But this recipe, um, I got it off of Pinterest. I've got two um, rolls here, two loaves, rather not rolls, but two loaves of um, French bread. And I'm going to go ahead on and cut this bread up and leave it sitting out <clears throat> overnight. Amen. Amen. There I go again. So that we can um, have us some stale bread, which I bought this bread about three days ago. But I just want to cut it up for us and then I'm going to leave it sitting out on the counter overnight. And then we're going to put our bread pudding together in the morning. But I've got my 9 by 13 dish here. I've already buttered it. So what I want to do here is just cut this bread up into like um, wedges like. And we'll probably cut them up into fours just like this. You know, we're just going to cut them into fours. All right, guys. So we got our little chunks of bread uh, chopped up right here. And this custard is going to soak all of this bread up. But right now, we're going to let this sit overnight. And uh, we're going to finish it in the morning. So hold your horses. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, it's the next morning, and we're going to get started with this bread pudding, okay? All right, so let me bring y'all on over right here. Um, this this is the bread that I left out last night. So what I want to do now, I'm going to turn my eye on here, and I've got four cups of milk that I'm going to pour in here in my pot. And now you don't have to uh you don't have to do this like this. I hope y'all know. You can just mix all this together. But um I'm gonna mix mine on the stove um uh, because I want it to soak in this French bread. This is French bread that I have here, and I want it to soak it up really well. So we're gonna heat up this milk, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it heat up a just a little bit, just a tad. And then I'm going to take some of it and mix it with my eggs. And then I'm going to put mix all that together and put it back into the milk. But we want this milk to come to a... Let me bring y'all up a little bit more. This milk in this bowl here. There we go. We're going to let this milk heat up just a little, guys. Okay? I want it to heat up just a little. And then we're going to take a little and put it with our eggs. All right? So, this is the first step that I'm going to do. Hold your horses. Okay, guys. That milk is heating up. And what I'm going to do is, I've got three-fourths cup here of sugar. I'm going to go ahead on and put that in. And I'm going to stir this rind in here. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead on. I'm also going to put in a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. That was a teaspoon, and then I'm going to put in a half of a teaspoon. Like that. Okay. I'm going to stir that rind in there. Now, I got some nutmeg here. I'm going to put an eighth of a teaspoon, okay? Just the eighth. Let's see here. Just, just a snidgen nutmeg. And then I'm going to put some cinnamon, about a teaspoon, just like that, okay? And 
now that our milk has been um, heating up some, I'm going to just take me some out of here just a little bit. Just enough to temper these eggs that we got over here. Okay, we're going to let that finish cooking. I'm going to take our egg mixture here. And I'm going to just whisk this up together. Okay, and then we're going to pour it back into our milk. Let that finish cooking. All right. We're going to go ahead on and pour these eggs back on in our milk here. Like that. And then we're just going to stir this brown in here. Like this right here. This is our custard for our bread pudding. And we're just going to. Mix that all together. A few more minutes. Just a few more minutes, guys. We want to scald it. We want to get it to that point where you can see it kind of bubbling up around the um, sides of this pot here. So we're just going to let it cook a little while longer. This all right, guys, our milk is bubbling up around the edges. It's scalded for us like we want it. Now we're going to turn it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off that eye for a minute. And what I want to show you all, I've got some raisins here. i got a half a cup of raisins. And I'm just going to put these right here in our bread. You can put... Um, all types of stuff in your pudding. I know my mama, when she used to make it, she would put uh, raisins in hers. But you put what put what in yours, whatever you want. I wanted some raisins in ours, okay? All right? And now we're going to get ready to pour all of that milk on top of our bread. Just stir this one more again. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Just like that, guys. Just like that. And now what we're going to do is... Let me clean up my mess first. Let's clean up our mess that we made right here. And now, what we want to do is, we want to just get our bread, push it down in. I don't want to push it too hard, but I just want all of that bread to, to soak up this milk mixture. Okay, I'm going to let this sit here for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're going to get ready to put her in the oven. But we want these bread to, we want this milk to soak up this, some of this bread, okay? So let's let this sit and soak for about 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, it's been about 20 minutes, an hour. Bread. That milk is soaking up that bread. Still got some in here. I'm going to just mash it, but it, for the most part, it has got this bread. That one now need a little bit more milk. Let's push it down in there. Like that. All right, so I got our oven on 350. I'm going to cover this up. And we're going to cook it on 350 for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to come back and take the foil off. And then we're going to cook it for another 15 minutes, okay? So hold your horse. Our bread pudding is going in the oven.
Okay, guys, that's our oven going off. We're going to take our bread putting out. I had it in a, a water bath here so that it could bake even for us. Now what I want to do is take our foil off. And we're gonna let it finish cooking. Alright? We'll put it back in the oven and let it finish cooking. Alright? 15 more minutes. Okay, guys, so our bread pudding has got about four or five minutes left. And what I wanna do, I wanna make this vanilla sauce here. I'm, I'm calling it a vanilla sauce. It's really a milk sauce. That's really what it is. What this is is condensed milk. I had a half a can of condensed milk left when I made um, something I made. <laughs> I can't remember what it was, but anywho, I put it in one of my containers, and so I'm going to pour it in here, and I'm going to melt it and pour it over our bread pudding. Okay? Just like this. And I got a little milk out in case I need to thin it some. So we're going to put that over there, and then I'm going to let this kind of uh, warm up, thin up some for us, and we're going to spread it over the top of our bread pudding. Okay. Let that, see how it's thinning up? So it'll be spreadable and not so thick. That's what we want. That's what we want. Mm-hmm. So hold your horses. We about to pull our bread pudding out. Mm. Oh, wow. Can y'all see that? She's pretty. Let's sit her right here. We're going to sit her right about here. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. We're gonna sit it there and turn our oven off. Let's clear that. And I'm gonna pour just a little while she's still uh, warm. I'm gonna just pour a little of this sauce on top of it. Just get down there in that too. Just seep on in there too, just like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like that, guys. Okay. And we're going to let her continue to sit up here and cool down some for us, okay? All right. So this is our bread pudding. Hold your horses. All right, guys. So we hey, got family. our old-fashioned bread pudding. And then I put that condensed milk on there, made us some milk sauce. All right, let's bless it. <laughs> Precious Lord, thank you for the food we're about to receive. Thank you, Jesus. Let it be nourishment for our body. Thank we you, ask Lord. that you sanctify it, purify it, and make it holy. We thank, thank you for you, all Jesus. things, God. We thank you for our YouTube family. And God, I thank you for my wife who prepared this thank meal. Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Mm. Can you see in there? Good. I just never had bread put like this. You had how you had mm -hmm. it? I don't know. My aunt Maddie used to make it. Mm -hmm. it from New York. New but it's good. New York bread pudding. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like the raisins in it. Mm-hmm. Mm. The raisins are very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm. You can say... 
the cinnamon, and it's so good. Mm -hmm. Boy, this is something you want to make your family. Summertime, kids are out of school, vacation time. Real easy and simple. Mm -hmm. Real easy and simple, guys. Old fashioned, real pretty. pretty. Mm, so good. Yes, it is. We thank y'all for watching. We do. I do. And if you like this kind of content, we just ask that you go ahead and subscribe to our channel. If you're not have, uh, subscribed so far, to hit that notification button mm -hmm. so you'll be notified when we're doing something on here. And give us a like. And leave us a comment in the comment section. We thank you for all things. We thank you that you chose to follow us on our journey. Mm -hmm. But on our journey, mm -hmm. many of y'all too, because we're all family. So, baby, anything else? That's it. All right. Until the next time. Let the journey continue. Bye, Bye guys. Happy Sweet Treat Friday.